Hey there folks, thought I'd bring you a video here showing you a little insight here on what I do for a little grab and go bag kinda. Um, the reason I ended up putting this together is a few months ago, I ended up doing like some side work consistently for a guy with some uh, small engine type stuff or just ran little little random things, nothing too major. Um, but I wanted something, I was, I was sick of just kind of throwing my tools in the, one of those Milwaukee style bags and then you'd have to search through them. So I went and got this from Harbor Freight. Um, it's been a pretty good little bag. It's not everyday use, but for the amount I've used it for, it's been great. Um, and uh, it wasn't too expensive. I was gonna go with like a pack out one, but I was like, you know, I don't know how much I'm gonna use it. So we'll go until this one breaks. And then if I use it a ton, I'll go get the nice pack out one. But they kind of want a pretty penny for those last time I checked. I, maybe you can get deals on them, but yeah. So this one's done me good. Uh, so yeah, we'll start on the outside here, work our way in and yeah. So over here, I got just a pair of Nipex pliers. Haven't used these a ton, but I, I like the feel of them. They're just good. I always like Nipex stuff, so. And then down in there, I actually got a socket for the lug nuts for my car, the old 1316s. And then right here, I just got Milwaukee wire strippers and then and Milwaukee flush cuts. Flush cuts work okay. I mean, they're just like $8 flush cuts, so you really can't complain about them. I mean, like they're expensive. Um, and then just a pair of needle nose and then a scraper down in there. Then got a test light. Up after that, I got a um, digital caliper reader from the old Pittsburgh there. It doesn't, I'm not measuring anything too too conscious, so I'm not too worried about it being off or anything like that. It's just kind of for bolts or sizes of holes, anything like that, nothing too crazy. And then next up, I actually, usually right here, I always keep my, I have a Mako multimeter, just like the, the little basic one i believe it's called there's a part number obviously for it but i left it at work so i forgot to bring it home and then right here these are auto wire strippers i actually got these from uh o'reilly's and they've been pretty good to me i had a, I had a warranty out the first one and they've only got like your warranty so you got to be watching that but the, the warranty simple was really simple and they took care of me and then i just ended up getting like a pair of nipex ones for work and took those home and then on the side here i got a couple of snap-on uh snap ring pliers and just a straight 90s in here and then a snap on um, hammer I really love these hammers they're just I, I use them a lot at work so I was glad I spent the money on them they've been great to me um, after that I got a little like a walkie kit for quarter inch bits but I kind of changed up a couple things so like it's got a couple of these T-Star bits, which are nice. And then I got my half inch and three A's. And then these I love. I have the whole kit, but I, I just take one home, keep it at home for quarter inch hex, quick adapt and to quarter inch. And it's, I love these things. They're, they're great. They're from Snap-on. I don't know if anybody else makes them, but they are perfect. So I, I love you. But yeah, so there's that. I fell down. And then on the back side here, I just got some ratcheting wrenches. These are metric. Uh, Flex had some gear wrench ones. They work pretty good. I got these on sale. Uh, I think at Advanced Auto Parts were going out of, out of or sell, not going out of business, but selling out of gear wrench. So I picked them up. Then just got some vice grips and then regular cutters here from Milwaukee. Been pretty good to me. Going back around. So on the inside, I have a Milwaukee flashlight, which uh, actually it's not in here right now, but I usually carry just the Cyclops lights. I, I carry one of those. I love that thing. It's it's the bee's knees. And then just got a US General magnet. I always use a magnet. Uh, Milwaukee 3 Ace ratchet or electric ratchet. Some Icon adapters down there. Those are nice. Um, and then got a Pittsburgh tape measure. And then here's the stuff. I've had really good luck with these, but I don't know if everybody has the same thing, but Pittsburgh uh, punch and chisel set. They've been great to me. I use them at my regular job. I just bought two sets of them, one for this, one for your work, and they're great. I love them. Um, this little kit here is pretty awesome from Blue Point. It's just ball and uh, for Torx and Allens, comes with your adapters, which is awesome. And then down in there, I just got Another magnetic tray, a 3 8 swivel, and a 3 8 to quarter inch quick adapt. And then from there, we'll go to, this is another one of my favorite tools, honestly, just because of how quick and easy it is. It just comes with uh, little fill-ups and flatheads and your T's, T-stars, and then picks. Picks is the main thing. I love it for this. It's just 
nice and convenient to have it all in one. Um, next up, I carry this with me all the time. It's the third gen Milwaukee Fuel. Uh, this thing's great. It does most of what I need it to do. So I'm pretty, it's, it's usually just the go-to of just needing this and I'm good to go. Um, other than that, just keep a pry bar in there. The old Pittsburgh. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll start back here. I'll start from this side. Right here, I just got like, uh, this is one punch and then some extensions, stuff like that, nothing too crazy. A long flathead screwdriver. This is a Matco swiveling uh, ratchet. I love these ones. Recently though, I will say I have had some issues with the Mako ratchets. I don't know if oh, what's going on, but it, whenever I get them rebuilt, it seems like they just break right away. But hopefully that isn't an issue for long. <laughs> and then right here, got the old Lyle trim tool remover. This thing's really handy. I, I like it. It's not too expensive. Next up, I got my favorite crescent wrenches of all time, which is these. They're made by... Uh, well, they're not made by, but they are Snap-on branded. I think Baco makes them, but I love the the flank drive on them. It just they they just are awesome. They're expensive, but they're totally worth the investment. And then next up, just got a magnetic pickup tool. And then this is kind of like here. I'll go back to the other side. You guys can see little little pocket. Like I got a pocket pry bar in here. The new one from Snap-on. Um, love this thing. It's awesome. It's lifetime warranty, so I kind of abuse them pretty good, and uh, they hold up for the most part. Actually, sometimes I get lucky, and on uh, semi drive lines, not don't quote me on this because you can get them rusted in there. But sometimes it's nice you can get them in there and just it, it like if you forgot to grab your pry bar and you got to pop off the drive line or something, you can sometimes snake this in there and crank it hard enough and she'll break free. And um, not always, but it, I, I've had it happen a few times, so I've been pretty blessed with that sense. But. And then next up, just got a uh, yellow pen, uh, paint pen, and then just a regular pen. And then this is, I haven't even used this yet since I got it. Of course, it's going to fight me out. Let's get some of that stuff on. Just a spark plug gap gauge from Snap-on. I don't know why I felt like I had to have it, but it's, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> so, and then next, I'll show you guys a couple little things throw this back in here. Don't worry about it after this. So these are my wrenches. I carry metric ones, which are Milwaukee. Milwaukee's been pretty good to me for the most part. Um, and then my standards, just some Husky ones. They do just fine. Um, and then these are actually in a little kit and I forgot them as well, but I love it. It's on an Astro Pneumatic kit that they came out of. It comes with a, a bunch of these steel ones. I think it's brass and then plastic, and they're just, I love them. They're, it's not too expensive for it, so it's totally worth the money. If you ever get the opportunity, you should just, just get one. I think Matco makes, or has it remade for them too, puts their name on it, so you get it from a Matco guy, but the Astro ones are probably cheaper. And then I thought I'd show you guys, this is the socket set that I use when I'm doing this. Like I said, this is mainly for like uh, small stuff, so I don't really need too much half inch drive stuff. And if I do, I usually know what I'm doing, so I just bring it with. But it's a gear inch set, a quarter inch and three eighths. I've been using these ratchets to see how they feel. I like them quite a bit. Um, they're 90 tooth, and the size for three eighths goes from six to 19, and then quarter inch up to seven eighths in deep well. Otherwise, it goes all the way up to one inch and short and then it's got your extensions there's another one but it's in the bag in there um and then here's your long quarter standards quarter inch extension and then your metric quarters and shallows and, but yeah it's a it's a pretty nice kit the thing the one thing i'll say that i don't like about it is our so, so this rides around in my trunk a lot and um the case while it looks nice and it's presented good like you can read things it's not really it doesn't really hold the sockets too tight like the just a little bit and they can be moving around or like uh i've had these tops kind of unclick on me and that sucks because then everything just shifts and you're like dang it so but yeah other than that it's uh it's pretty good little setup it does the job for me i'm not doing anything too crazy and if i do i uh you know i know to grab a couple extra things like last week i did a wheel bearing for a guy on his uh vehicle and I don't think I brought anything extra other than 
my half inch impact to get his lug nuts off and that was about it so yeah um thanks for checking me out guys appreciate it if you got any questions comments anything like that leave them in the comments let me know until next time